In Chief Architect, preferences are used to customize your Chief Architect software experience. This video is an overview of settings commonly modified. On a PC, click Edit, Preferences to open the Preferences dialog. Or on a Mac, click Chief Architect, Preferences. On the Appearance panel, the first setting available is for contextual menus. A contextual menu comes up when we right-click on an object. Here we have a cabinet. If we right-click on this cabinet, the contextual menu comes up. This list contains tools and actions that pertain to the cabinet we right-clicked on. Notice also that this list is the same as the tools displayed on the Edit toolbar at the bottom of the screen. Some users of Chief Architect find it redundant to have the tools on the right-click as well as at the bottom of the screen, so they switch to click twice to display. This frees up the right click to alternate behaviors. Further down the Appearance panel, settings for toolbars can be found. You can switch between the Child Tool Palette and drop down menus. Typically, Child Tool Palette is fine. If you have a high resolution monitor and you find that the toolbar buttons are too small to see clearly, you might consider increasing the button size to 25 pixels. At the bottom of the Appearance panel, you'll find the minimum display size for dimensions and labels. As you zoom in and out of a plan, dimensions and labels will get bigger and smaller. These settings allow you to specify how small those items will get as you zoom out. Dimensions are set to 8 pixels. This means that dimension text will not get any smaller than 8 pixels high, regardless of how far zoomed out you are. Some prefer to set this to zero so that the dimensions will continue to get smaller as they zoom out. Regardless of what is set here, the size of the text for dimension lines will follow and print to the size set in the dimension specification. This setting is only for the on-screen display. On the Colors panel, the view color of specific items can be specified. For example, the selection handle fill color could be set as green. The selection fill color could be a light blue, and the selection line color could be a dark blue. Below the view colors, there are options for different color themes. Switch to Custom Color Theme to unlock the below settings. Select one of the predefined color themes or make a copy of one and customize it further. On the General panel, the number of undo actions can be specified. 50 is the typical amount, though some like to increase this value to 100. Towards the bottom, an option for Save Dialog Size and Position is available. If you switch back and forth between multiple monitors, it is beneficial to set this to each session, or never, so that if you change monitors, the dialogs will appear where you are currently working on, not on the opposite monitor where you were working previously. On the File Management panel, specify how often the Auto Save and Auto Archive engages. The Auto Save is typically set to every five minutes, which means that as you are working, the software will automatically save a temporary copy of the file in case the program crashes or the computer shuts down unexpectedly. If this happens, the next time the software opens, an option to recover the Auto Save will be presented. The Auto Archive is typically set to daily. Each day, one copy of the plan is saved in the Archive folder. This is different than the Auto Save, though, in that the Save button has to be clicked for the Daily Archive to update. When you click the Save button, the original file is updated and the Archive file is updated. The next day, when you click the Save button, a secondary Archive file is created so that you have an archive from yesterday and one from today. Also on this panel, you can specify how many files are saved in the Recent File list on the Startup Options page or in the File menu. Set this to zero to clear it out, and then set it back to the value desired. On the Folders panel, you can specify where the Chief Architect My Data folder resides 
as well as User Catalog and System Library Database folder. If you modify these, ensure that the newer versions of Chief Architect do not point to the same locations as prior versions, otherwise the new content will not be able to be read into that prior version if you need to go back to the version for any reason. On the New Plans panel, the default template can be specified. Choose templates for both U.S. units and metric units here. Below the template options, you can specify if Chief Architect automatically opens to a specific location every time a File Explorer or Finder window is opened, or just the last folder accessed. Some prefer to create a Plans folder and specify it as their default directory that will always open so that they know exactly where all their plans are located. On the CAD panel, Consider updating the latitude, longitude, and time zone settings to match your area so that if a sun angle is used, it is automatically set correctly. This will ensure that shadows cast in your plans are accurate. On the Edit panel, specify crosshair settings. Uncheck this first box to disable the crosshair, or use these other settings to customize it. If the edit handles are hard to see, Increase the edit handle size and tolerance here. You can specify how the Marquee Select function behaves when you click and drag a marquee over objects with these settings here. On the Reset Options panel, options for resetting various settings are available. For example, if you've modified the preferences in such a way that is not advantageous for you, click Reset Preferences to get back to the original condition.